Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna make sure that Windows is properly set up. After that, we're gonna change some graphics setting in the game. And at the end, we will uh, I will show you where is the config file and we will add a comment in the config file because uh, a lot of people have some issue with the um, when uh, you aim with your gun, some like pixel and weir weir weird texture, sorry guys. Uh, I will show you what to add to remove this. So first of all, make sure that you remove your game mode on your computer, really important. It's causing a lot of stuttering and issue. So put this at off, game bar at off, and all those capture stuff, background recording, recorded audio at off. Second thing, if you have less than 16 gig of RAM, download Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, it's pretty, it's huge, honestly. I had some issue with stuttering on the Division 2 and Battlefield 5. Uh, this uh, was my solution. So it will purge your standby list automatically because for the past 8 to 9 months, uh, Windows have a lot of issue with that. So uh, definitely download this. It's low on your resources. It will help you a lot. And it's the guy with the DDU, so no weird virus or whatever. This is it, this is clean. So I will put the link in my video description to make sure that you have the proper link to download this. So now let's go inside of the game. So now in the game, uh, in the general section, first of all, make sure that uh, world motion blur is at disable and weapon motion blur is at disable. Uh, the main issue with this game, it's two things. First of all, the optimization is kind of weird. Uh, it's not that great. And also the game, I don't know why everything is blurry in this game. So I will show you what to change to try to see in front of you. You know, it's kind of a competitive game, if we can say. So I don't know if you want graphics or not, but here my uh, my guide is more like for to getting FPS and to see when you're playing this game. So first of all, make sure that you're playing full screen, really important. I was losing a lot of FPS with Borderless or Windows, so really important full screen. Make sure you're matching your display monitor and your display adapter. Sometimes people with laptop are seeing Intel integrate video card when they have like a dedicated GPU in their uh, laptop. So really important to see your dedicated GPU here. Uh, your screen refresh rate, also make sure that it's matching your uh, monitor. Randomly add like 60 and my monitor it's 144. So make sure your Earth is matching uh, uh, The second thing here is the render resolution. I don't know why is it was at 200 So make sure that you at 100 you want to match your display resolution. Don't screw with this. It's pretty important uh, Under uh, 100 you will see that everything is you're, you're gonna see some pixel and stuff like that And I don't know why when I upscale everything start to get blurry. So just use your 100% here uh, after that, I'm not using VSync, I don't want input lag, and I'm capping my frame rate with my Earths at 100, 144. So, graphic parameter. First of all, test, uh, texture resolution. Not a huge deal in this game if you have VRAM, so as you can see here, you can see your VRAM. Don't go... Um, you, you need to be at 75% of the max bar over there, so if you have something like 2 gig, probably you will need to put this at low. Uh, but, uh, yeah, when you change your parameter, Always look at your VRAM. Particle quality. I'm putting this. I'm putting this one at low. I saw that for sure. When you put this at low and you don't do anything, you just run in the map. You will not see a big increase in your FPS, but it's more in your stability. Um, your uh, FPS will be a lot stable when you're using particle quality when you're fighting. So this one is really important. Go with low. Uh, bullet impact, not a huge deal. I, I just put everything at disable slash off right now, but I didn't see honestly a big improvement over there. So you could put enable if you want to see it. Tessellation, uh, if you have an old GPU, an old GPU AMD card also, really important disable this or just go with near if you have like a decent GPU and stuff like that. Uh, shadow, really important shadow, disable everything, particle lighting, ambient inclusions, uh, cache sun shadow. If everything is at disable and this one at normal, you can gain 23% 20, uh, of FPS. Um, you can definitely use some parameter here like ambient inclusion and stuff like that. But me, I don't like those parameter when I play a first person shooter, so I want to see in front of me. But definitely, definitely don't go too crazy. If you have your FPS that you want, uh, you can definitely uh, put some stuff in here. And beyond inclusion, you can go with GTO and I with shadow map uh, and you will have a decent graphic. But honestly, I didn't see a big difference between them 
and I'm getting a lot more FPS. Finally, post-processing effect, just remove everything again. Anti-aliasing at off, film mix train at zero, film grain at zero. I don't know why when I put anti-aliasing, everything start to get blurry. So my uh, advice here, just put everything at off. And in the config file, I will show you um, a config that you will need to add. And uh, it will remove those weird pixel when you aim with your gun uh, that normally you don't have if you're using an anti-aliasing. So now you will have both worlds, no pixel when you aim, and the game will not look blurry. But yeah, you will have some aliasing when you're playing this game. For now, this is pretty much the best setting that you can have in this game. So now let's go in the config file. So for the config file, uh, the config file is in your document, Call of Duty Modern Warfare players too. Uh, you need to open the uh, config CFG over there. So you need to right click on it, use a software like Notepad++, scroll down and you will see something here that, that this is the comment that you will need to add at the last line of uh, the config file. So you need to add this, make sure you save, click X and really important, right click on the config click properties and make sure that you put this in read only because if you don't do that each time you will open your, the game the game will remove your config uh, add-on so you really need to put this one in read only mode and now you will have a proper uh, aim when you uh, you will not have like some blurry stuff uh, weirdness and artifacts so yeah that's about it guys for this video. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, so CPU, GPU and RAM, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace!